a, a guy and a girl. Well, I'll, I'll save it for the air. Okay. All right, we are back at TED TV. I'm with Scarlet Savage. We are inside the Vanilla Bean Bakery. We're going to have some yummy food and a, a, a chicken jalapeno sandwich, panini, uh, and a bowl of uh, potato leek soup coming to us. Um, Scarlet scored us this, this our first ever restaurant review. We've just talked to David Solomon, Solomon mm -hmm. who is, um, is, he, is he part of an owner here? You know, I think he's, um, he describes himself as a jack of all trades, so I think he is just an employee, but he seems to have been with the place since the very inception. Yeah, right. the inception. Conception. Concept. There we go. Before they even opened the doors, yeah, it seems like he so, was involved. And look at this. It's, it's, it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and look at the steady stream of people that are still coming in. Right, right. So. It's not just a coffee shop, and it's not just a bakery. It's it sandwiches and salads. And they really uh, seem to cater to a, a vegan diet here. They do, gluten-free and vegan, all made right here in this very premises. Right. Oh, and the and free cookies. I mean, free homemade cookies with every meal. They come in here. They make cookies to give out to the customers who order meals for free. And I gave you, uh, if you didn't see it, the last segment, a display, uh, a tour of that display case. Man, there's some. Fantastic looking desserts in there. You gained 10 pounds just looking at the case. I'm it's... so glad we're not doing desserts. Oh, wow. I'm not doing desserts. Oh, knowing David will get a dessert for oh. free. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will try that red velvet then because that was... Eight. It's that incredible. Was, yeah, you, you've given them a lot of kudos on that one. Yes. Oh, so we were just discussing a, a new potential uh, episode of TED TV. Just Scarlet here wants to talk to Larry Hankin about uh, writing. You want him to help yeah, well, at uh, first I was transform thinking, your already written mm -hmm, my play, play to, into, into a, a screenplay. screenplay. Because screenplays are so much more visual. You really have to show much more than tell. And Ted can um, attest to the fact that ever since I began producing my work in New England, um, what I always get is, wow, your dialogue is so conversational and so real. And that's great. I love that. However, what I'm not very good at is transposing into... The showing and and not and not explaining. It's, it's a very different art form, playwriting and screenwriting. So I would love to get somebody as accomplished as Larry. Right. So is, so Ted and I were talking about that. We're going to go online if if, Ted, if Larry's available. Go over a few scenes. We'll take some advice, and then when we were talking about that, I had an idea. There's a, a pilot I've written called Sexual Misfirings, and there's this one ideal. There's this one part that Larry would be ideal for. So I thought we should stage a reading. Ted can read the male lead, I'll read the female lead, we'll get Larry for the co comedic, brilliant part, and then we all we need is a 17-year-old girl, which I'm sure we can find. We'll get Julie, we'll get the girl from the coffee shop. Well, there we go, so it's already cast. Now all we have to do is ask these guys, how much right, right. fun would that be? The first live performance on TED TV. Wow, that would be awesome. Mm -hmm. you know, TED TV, it's so funny because there's no structure, there's no format, <laughs> there's no... Nothing's off limits. There's no expectations here. It's just whatever. Uh, we just bring life to life. We bring life alive I to have, you I have so on the many internet. Ideas. I think and I got a, a fix that adjustment on that screen because that's gonna drive me nuts. Yeah, when it goes dark like that, that it makes auto me dark. crazy. Sorry, guys. Crazy. I know you're still there, but I can't see you. So, <laughs> gonna... Larry, if you're watching this and we know you are, get a hold of us so we can we can. Uh, Stage this. There we go. Now, here at the Vanilla Bean, is anybody who's watching, does they have any questions for us? It's owned by um, Alice Lee, a very young girl, she, she seems. Uh, you know, she said she, I go over there and I ask her to join us, but she said she was shy. That's why she sent David over to talk to us. But she's over there now. She's eating lunch at the at the at the counter. Gosh, I just love this. A lot of the places I'm finding in Los Angeles, they really try to overwhelm you with atmosphere. And here, it's just, you know, they got a couple of shelves of candy. They got a plant here and a plant there, and that's it. It just lets a restaurant be a restaurant, you know? Right. Hey, we got another viewer there. Hi, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Just doing some adjustments on the computer. Just trying to get the uh, the screen from auto dimming. I think it's under the power, power energy, the energy management section. So hopefully that'll stop dimming on us. Um, 
The uh, um, that you mentioned uh, asking questions. We need to do that. We need to open up that chat window. So I got to do that. Plus, you know how to reach me. If you got my number, you can text us questions. You get the chat window. If there's any. Thing that you feel Ted and I should try while we're here. If you insist that we try the red velvet cake, I guess that means we're just gonna have to give it a shot. Ohio guy. Hi, Ted's uncle. Oh, I don't know for sure. I don't know all the coasts here. This nice is new computer. We got so much screen real estate up there. there Send some to Ohio. <laughs> Send some to Ohio. We'll ask if they deliver. Yeah, right. <laughs> How great is this? Let's take a moment to shout out the technology that. That, that somebody in Ohio can just send us a message. I know. Right here during our interview. This is awesome. I love that great. technology. Is that they can't do this on The View. <laughs> right. They can't go put we are in a restaurant about to have wonderful food. They don't do this on The View. How is Ohio today? I wonder how Ohio is. Are you my Uncle Dan? <laughs> so glad you're joining us. It's chilly today. Is it chilly? Yeah. It's, well, it's because we're on the coast. I always, I'm always talking to Michael about how cold it is, and he's like, yeah, I'm inland all day. Right. You know, it's amazing because the temperature difference between West L.A. and crazy. the Valley is insane. <laughs> I, um, Absolutely crazy. I, 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 won't, I, I was reading about the temperatures in New York and in New Hampshire, like 100 and their triple-digit numbers this past week. And, I was, and someone wrote me, and they go, what's the temperature there? Oh, I think we got our food coming. How exciting. I want to stop this so we can go to a uh, segment, but we'll let David come in here Thank and give us... Oh. Jake. oh, and there's our cookie. Oh, our food looks fantastic. David, can I get another soda, too? Oh, I'm going to water then. Thanks, hon. Thank you, David. Okay. All right, so let me stop this. I'm going to show off this food, and then we're going to go to the new segment here. Stop